Every night, this is the jaw-dropping site at Bracken Cave on the outskirts of San Antonio. Just before sunset, millions of Mexican free-tailed bats spiral out of the cave in what many think looks like a bat-nado. Bracken Cave behind us is the home to the largest colony of bats in the world. Fran Hutchins is the director of Bracken Cave Preserve. He's as close as Central Texas gets to having its own Batman in charge of a bat cave. The population at its peak is around 20 million bats. That's about 18 million more bats than fly out from Austin's Congress Avenue Bridge to grab dinner. So Congress Avenue Bridge is the largest urban colony of bats. So you get about a million and a half bats at uh, Congress Avenue Bridge. These giant roosts make Central Texas the ideal spot to monitor the reaction of bats and the animals that prey on them during April's total solar eclipse. It doesn't happen very often. It's just a, something interesting to see how the animals react to something changing in the environment. At Bracken Cave, Hutchins and other experts will be walking the perimeter, monitoring any change in behavior. But since the bats are underground, they're less likely to notice the moon completely blocking the face of the sun. Where scientists think there could be a bigger reaction is downtown Austin. The bats roosting here underneath the bridge are more likely to notice day is temporarily becoming night. Experts aren't sure what the nocturnal bats will do, but the possibilities range from not noticing to becoming confused, anxious, or even flying out to see what the fuss is all about. I guess start swarming. I don't know enough about bat behavior to really know, but I could see them like starting to do their thing. Maybe like flap around a little, I, like they think it's nighttime. I'm curious to see. NASA is also curious and not just about bats. The Eclipse Soundscapes Project will monitor atypical animal behaviors in Central Texas and along the entire eclipse path. They're recording insect, animal, birds, and the bat sounds before, during, and after the eclipse to see if there's any changes in behavior. In addition to these Mexican free-tailed bats, there are seven other bat species in the hill country. Many roost in trees, and around 1.30 in the afternoon on April 8th, they could take flight and start to forage, or... They might stir around and look and just to see what's going on. At Bracken Cave, one square foot of the ceiling can contain 500 bats. They're packed in, just like the throngs of people expected to converge on Texas. Experts say don't be surprised if humans have a more impressive reaction than bats that could possibly snooze through it. Betty Cross, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.